and welcome back. This is WCI-TV, sponsored by Tower MSA Partners. I'm Ed Highland. I've got the pleasure now of being joined by Kathy Galley, who's the Chief Clinical Officer for Paradigm. Kathy, thanks so much for coming by and joining us. My pleasure, Ed. We're having a great conference, aren't we? I mean, there's so many people, so much to talk about. So much to talk about. The speakers have been amazing. The events have been amazing. It's one of the best, really has been. But well, we want to drill down and talk about uh, some, some very important uh, clinical issues that are going on. And the workers' compensation industry, as we all know, is really just beginning to understand the risks of unaddressed behavioral health challenges. Can you uh, talk a little bit about why these issues really sometimes don't get the attention that they deserve? Absolutely, and I think it's, uh, there are several factors there. Um, first of all, uh, up until recent years, there really hasn't been the data or research done to validate the impact that behavioral health issues have on claims outcomes. Uh, but in the last two years, um, there has been attention devoted to research and data that has proven that um, injuries that involve a behavioral health issue or behavioral health uh, diagnoses uh, result in two times uh, the disability duration and medical spend. Uh, the research has proven that those with a behavioral health issue and a comorbidity on top of that are looking at three and a half time uh, duration of treatment. And um, those that have behavioral health issue, multiple comorbidities can have five times the impact. So there's no denying uh, the research and data has proven um, that these issues impact uh, outcomes for patients. And I would say on top of that, part of the reason why there hasn't been the attention around it is it's really hard to quantify. Um, in many of the uh, claim systems, there may not be a dedicated field to capture this type of information. So as researchers have tried to pull or extract this data, they've had to be really creative on how to even quantify the problem. Can, can you drill down just a little bit and talk a little bit more about um, you know, problems like increased uh, complications, hospitalizations, uh, that sort of thing? Yeah, absolutely. Um, as I said, uh, you know, this is not anecdotal anymore. The research and data have proven that those with uh, behavioral health uh, diagnoses, comorbidities, et cetera, or more prone to extended stays in hospitalization, delayed, in, delayed recovery, and delay in return to work. Kathy, um, psychological needs for injured workers uh, often accompanies issues uh, both before the injury as well as uh, some new or developing challenges uh, in, in wake of the event, the injury itself. How does uh, Paradigm, uh, the Hero Catastrophic Outcome Plan, identify you know, what is happening with this patient? Yeah, absolutely, Adam. So glad that you asked that. So Paradigm has been around for 30 years, and we have always focused on the whole person, the whole injured worker and their family, and have um, from day one uncovered any type of psychosocial barrier and helped to manage that during uh, the life of our outcome plan or our catastrophic care plan. It's more important than ever, particularly in catastrophic cases, where it goes without saying that when an injured worker has sustained a catastrophic or complex or very serious injury, that there will be behavioral health or psychosocial implications just as a result of that injury, let alone any pre-existing social determinants of health, struggles within the family that the injured worker may have had prior to the injury, such as substance abuse. Um, you know, to name, and I could go on and on, but um, it is critical uh, that you are able to uncover these issues early and that you have an interdisciplinary team that is able to wrap around the injured worker and help manage to a psychosocial outcome. And, and I, there must be a fluidity because each individual is unique. Absolutely. Each individual is unique. Um, you know, for all of the uh, cases that we're able and have a privilege of managing, I can say that each one brings its own set of challenges, characteristics. Um, we, you know, have recently, uh, in the last four years, invested in an even more robust solution around behavioral health that brings social workers in on each and every case that we're able to manage. And they have done a wonderful job at going very deep and at uncovering solutions within the injured worker's own community around challenges such as food shortage, 
child care shortage, housing issues, things that are very difficult for um, an adjuster or even a nurse case manager to tackle. It's very time consuming to help solve housing issues, food shortage issues. It has been a wonderful investment. We are so happy to have our social workers helping our injured workers and families on every case that we have. And Kathy Paradigm recently introduced a solution carefully tailored to help injured workers with behavioral health issues and conditions, including chronic pain challenges. Uh, can you tell us about the behavioral health clinical management? Yes, absolutely. Um, this offering was created because there is such a need for this type of solution within the industry. So our offering, the clinical management program, is focused on acute and delayed recovery cases that have a predominant behavioral health diagnoses. Uh, so this is not limited to catastrophic injury. It is an injury with a compounding behavioral health diagnosis that for one reason or another is a barrier to recovery. This is not risk transfer, this is time-based, and we are bringing our full roster of behavioral health clinicians to confirm diagnoses, make sure that the injured worker is with the optimal treating provider, and set key milestones and goals during the life of our clinical management program. Uh, this is out in the market. We've had wonderful results thus far, and I'm thrilled that we're able to have this offering. There's, there's so much more to learn, and I would recommend folks check out your website, Paradigm, and uh, uh, look for more solutions, more answers, and more information. And this is WCI-TV, brought to you by our friends at Tower MSA Partners. I'm Ed Hyland. Thanks for joining us.